This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish, natural food for cats. Hey, I'm Alex Farnham, and this is Animalist News. With the amazing Spider-Man 2 coming out soon, I've decided to find out more about the amazing Spider-Man. Now, there are a few things that set the amazing Spider-Man apart from the amazing Spider-Man. We all know that spiders don't swing around the city from building to building, but spiders do sometimes use their silk to travel from one place to another. The other times, they jump far up to 50 times their own body length, as a matter of fact. Now, spider silk is said to be stronger than steel, so if you did have that superpower, swinging around would be a breeze. <laughs> See what I did there? Swinging, swinging in the breeze. If humans could produce crazy strong spider silk out of their body, it would be awesome, but if you're familiar with the comics, you know that not even Spider-Man himself was capable of doing so. As for climbing around on walls, a spider's grip is so strong that they can hold up to 170 times their own body weight. So that's like if Spider-Man saved 170 people falling from a building by holding on to them at the same time while clinging on to the side of a building. Spider's feet are covered in hairs, or seta to be more exact. And on those hairs are even smaller hairs that branch out called setulas. And there's over half a million of them on each little hair. That's a lot of hairs, guys. That is a lot of little hairs. And those little tiny hairs create electrons, which causes hot spots of attraction with molecules, thus creating the powerful stickiness. And as far as looks go, if a real Spider-Man existed, he wouldn't look like this handsome fellow right here. He would have eight eyes, be covered in hair, shoot webs out of his butt instead of his wrists, and most likely wouldn't have a penis because it would have fallen off when mating with Gwen. Oops. Scratch that, 90% of spiders are homosexual. So who's your favorite superhero? Let me know in the comments below. Hey Alex. Oh, what's up Trace? I just wanted to tell you that we did a D News episode about the science of Spider-Man. I met the A-listers. I got to talk to Emma Stone, what up? And you can click on my face and watch it. It's pretty great. <laughs> That's awesome. Well yeah, go check out that episode guys. Check out these other episodes over here. Subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you here in Mammals next time. You ha how did you get in there? I don't know, this is my set. Come on, you can come in, I'll, I'll catch you, jump in. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.